Oh, cool. Oh, look Oops. at those views. These sponges. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's amazing. It's um, <laughs> fun to God. see here. Yeah, yeah really. invertebrate heaven. <laughs> Squat lobsters, Squat lobsters shrimps. And lots and lots of sponges of several types. Oh, look at all the corals. Yeah. Uh, corals are yeah, coming in strong. Yeah, right. I should start to oh. shallow out a bit. All right, you're going to turn me into a violinist. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> incredible. I give. <laughs> a lot of different varieties. This is really but as far as uh, examining the data and uh, lo looking at it quantitatively, um, how long of a process um, <laughs> Do you think that, I mean, <laughs> how many students can you yeah. <laughs> get involved in? So, um, what one has what one has to do is to to choose a limited yeah. set of things in time and space and and types of organisms that you're going to look at. And I'm not too sure what these little corals are actually. Huh. Happy little corals. Uh, oh, there's a little snail. Happy little corals. The openings are uh, probably 20, 20 centimeters, centimeters of the order of 20 centimeters, centimeters yeah. across, yeah. so then they're probably maybe 30 centimeters high, maybe 40 centimeters high. Maybe. There's a bigger one up there. Uh, yeah, I think oh, some no. of those are a meter high, so, but who knows? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that uh, you'll spend a lot, or we'll all spend a lot of time with afterwards, trying to yeah. right. document this in a quantitative way. Right? Right now, we're just yeah, yeah. looking and seeing what what's there, but uh, we'll actually be able to calculate abundances and how yeah. they're changing. 